Hi guys, I want to tell you how the real basement of the executioner look like, the one that go deep below the normal torture chamber. When we just start to work on the executioner, we want to use the artist draft as a story maker. So we structureize our story with the main line of the story, how you can see on the left side, with a lot of side quests and side activities you can see on the right side, and the intersection in between. Inside each of these nodes you can go deeper and see the kind of a story and uh, all things that entwines between the different branches but it's kind of a uh, normal things a lot of developers i think use the arts like that i want to tell you about something else after working with the story we understand that we want to work with the mechanics in the arts draft also so i want to show you how we work with the torture chamber mechanics so the torture chamber is the main thing of the executioner it usually looks like this. Uh, you have some kind of action and some kind of a victim that you need to torture. At the beginning, you have kind of a 20 actions. Let me show you how the main hero of the torture chamber, the victim, is look like. So this is a victim and its profile. In the top part, you see the basic characteristics that we usually didn't feel. In the bottom part, you see the victim properties, a different kind of like hit point bar, mental hit point bar, time to torture, questions and everything else. Now I want to talk about tortures. As I said before, at the beginning you had kind of 20 actions that you, that you have access to in the torture chamber. This is all the torture actions. During the development of the character, you will find some kind of items that you could use in torture chamber and you develop your character acquiring new skills that can be used in a torture chamber. Mm, and I want to show you how we work with it in the artist draft. So this is the instruction that started the torture chamber. The unity during the import series instruction and start a special, special scene uh, where the torture is commenced. So uh, at the, if the torture chamber starts like that, then we have only default tortures. But we need to expand this arsenal. So we create uh, a condition uh, but not any type of condition. First, uh, we write a commentary into it. I write about it in the interview and uh, the commentary give me a mistake. It's important one, so in the future, if I will be distracted or we do something else, I could easily find this uh, condition with the uh, error search mode. So I add here that uh, we, need to, we want to add the torture Iron Pure. Iron Pure is pretty nice to torture. We could Google, Google about that that our our hero have an access only if he will develop the sociopathy skill tree. So the first one I need to make a check, does he develop the sociopathy skill tree already? So I write the commentary. It's the name of the skill. Uh, this is uh, error because we don't have um, such variable, but we have a template. I go inside this um, condition and use a template out of all the different templates that we handily crafted for um, our game and choose a skill template. In the skill template I choose an owner, I choose a exact skill. So I need a sociopathy master of pain. So I activate it. Now we have a condition that check do you have Master of Pain or not? And have a mistake in front of it. So, so don't have a mistake, we make a comment on it, and now it's work. I connect it to the torture chamber, and after that I make an instruction, also special instruction. I also write a comment to have a mistake here, and I write it... And it's still a mistake. But, as you understand, inside of it we have a template, and inside this template, we can say change actions on the victim and uh, through the um, list of the skills, I choose Iron Pier. The Iron Pier is a torture action that at the basically we don't have access to, but now we have it. So after that, I make all another. If you don't mind, I make it a little bit faster.
it's done. So now we have fully working block that check all the tortures that need to be activated before we entering a torture chamber. So basically that's how it's done. Thank you.